Hello, my big kids and my little chicken nuggets. Welcome back to Mr. B's art room. Good. Yeah, I am. I'm standing in my real art room. I'm here doing a little bit of work. What, Steve? No, I didn't sneak in here. I'm supposed to be here. All the teachers came back at the end of the year here to clean out our room. So my room is getting cleaned by myself and some other people are helping me get it ready for you guys next year. You want it? You do? Steve said he wants to see the room. You want me to give you a little quick tour of how clean I got it? All right, check it out. So you can see, here's my room. Looks the same, doesn't it? A couple changes are just real small. I had to pick up all the chairs so they can clean the floors. They're gonna reseal the floors and put a nice wax coat on them. I put all the supplies up and just about ready for you guys to return after a nice summer. Pretty clean, huh? Well, let's get busy. We're gonna make a couple projects today. I haven't had a chance to make a lot of videos for you guys because I've been in here doing the classwork, but today I'm gonna to do three different videos from the classroom and I'll share those over time with you. So, first video is about making uh, symmetrical paint blobs. Now, do you remember the word symmetrical? Symmetrical means it's the same on both sides. So your face is a good example of something symmetrical. I have one eye on this side and one on this. An ear on this side, an ear on that side. Okay? So symmetrical means it's the same on both sides. We're going to do symmetrical paint blobs today. Now, if you don't have paint at home, you can try mixing up some food coloring or Kool-Aid with a little bit of water, just a little bit. If you have those things at home, you can do that. So get some paint, some paper, and some scissors if you want, maybe some crayons as well, maybe a little bit of glue. So, main thing, paper and paint. Get those things and let's get busy. Welcome back to my real art room. Okay, first thing, get your container and get your paint set up. I'm gonna get three colors. I've got blue, here's some red, and some yellow. Once you have your colors, take your paper and fold it in half. There you go, like a card or a book. So you have that folded. Now, what you're gonna do is take your paint brushes and put a little bit of paint in random spots. You can do a design if you want or just like I'm doing here, some polka dots. Then switch and get your other colors. I'll put some stripes here like that. And my last color here is the yellow. Now notice I'm only painting on one side. I'm not going to the other side. If you accidentally do, I did there a little bit, it's okay. Once you have that side completed, take your paper and fold it. Now press it, mush it, smack it down, rub it. You really wanna get that paint to mush underneath there. Now it shouldn't get your hands messy unless you've put too much paint on and it blobs out the side. Now, you can open it up. Here we go, one, two, three. There you go, and I've got a symmetrical design. The same red curve here is over there on that side. The same blue shape here is found over here. See if you can find the opposites. See how this has a long section with a little dot? There it is over here, a long section with a little dot. So it's a symmetrical design. So you can see I made my symmetrical design using paint and paint brushes. If you don't have paint brushes, you can use Q-tips. But I did that with the paint brushes. This time, I'm gonna do it by just dripping the paint. This time I'm gonna do it again, except I'm not gonna use a paint brush and I'm not gonna to stick to the same side. I'm just gonna squeeze the paint directly onto the paper. And you can see it's not symmetrical at all. I have that crease down the middle, but there's a big curve over here. There's not one over there. And I did cross over that center line. So let's add a little bit. Maybe I'll just shake and get some drips there. And then finally I'll add some yellow 
here. Now, by doing this, you can see I've made a little bit of mess on the table here. That's okay. Just make sure you clean up after yourself. Now, once you've done that, you do the exact same. Close it up and press. Now, because you dripped it on, it's probably thicker and it may gush out the sides as you press down. So be careful, but mush it, pat it. Oh, here you go. You can see it's blobbing out the top. Oh, and on the side, and I got my hands in it. So this way is a little bit messier, but it gets a different result. Let's see, one, two, three. Is it symmetrical? Same on both sides? Yes, but it has a completely different result. Once you've finished your blob painting, set it aside and let it dry. After it's dried, you can turn it into something. Watch and see what I turn mine into. Once your symmetrical design paint has dried, you can turn it into something. You could easily make this into a bug or an alien. I like the idea of making a bug. Today I'm gonna to turn this into a butterfly for us. So I'm gonna close this back up and I want to draw half of a, a butterfly's wings. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that shape. Then I'll cut that out. With my scissors I'll cut, being very careful. And if you don't cut the line if you don't stay on the line or some of that line shows, that's okay because this is going to be the back anyhow. So even though we can see that, it doesn't matter. See, now we open it back up. It's still symmetrical. Even though I cut off some of the design, it's still symmetrical. Now let's add a little body for him. So I'm going to measure this. Okay, that's going to be a good size. And then I'll cut a little butterfly body. I'm just gonna make it look like a hot dog or a long oval. See if that fits. Then I kind of add glue to that um, and add some design. So let's give him, I'll use my marker, give him a nice little face. Put some glue on. I actually don't have my glue with me, so pretend I'm putting the glue on and stick it. And there you go, I've got a nice little butterfly. So you can see how you can turn blob paintings into things if you want to, or you can just leave them how they are. My butterfly turned out pretty neat. I can't wait to find out what you guys made. Share it with me. Send it to my email address posted here. Well, thanks for joining me. I'm glad to be in my art room again. I can't wait for you to join me in here. Have a wonderful day and take care.